Welcome back to Craft for Creatives. In this second video, we're going to show you how to make a beautiful CV that you can share with your clients. This can be used as a standalone document, or it can be added to the design portfolio from the last video. Craft functions across multiple devices, so we'll work on an iPad today to show you how to interact with a more touch-based operating system. As with the portfolio, CVs are something you'll want to share widely. And when you share a document from Craft, you can measure how much attention it's getting from our analytics. Inside the design home space, I'm going to create a new folder for both the portfolio I created last time and for this CV. Just tap the plus button on the left sidebar to bring up the new folder window. I'm going to keep it simple and use the title Me and find a nice icon and color. Now I can drag the portfolio from my All Documents area and drop it into the Me folder. Then open the folder and go to Add and New Document. Laura has a CV that she's made previously. Let's paste that into Craft. Right away, we can see that this is hardly eye-catching. One of my favorite parts about Craft Docs is the ability to create something stunning that still has a clear structure. So we're going to really elevate this document, but make sure that Laura still looks like a pro to whoever she sends it to. Let's start with the title, and I think we can probably lose the hello and the Laura Simmons as her name already appears super clear in the title. If you swipe left on the block that you want to delete, it will be selected. Now you can swipe left on the next one too to select that, and just hit delete in the pop-up menu. Next up, I'm going to make the contact information stand alone from the rest of the document. Unlike with the portfolio, we want to have some restraint with the design here, so people can at a glance see her contact information. Let's put these onto the same line by selecting the telephone number, go into Actions, and Cut. Now we can tap on the block with the email in it and paste the telephone number directly after the email. I want to start with an email because it's the most likely form of contact these days. Let's also signpost this a little bit. If I select the telephone number and go to link, I can type in T-E-L and then the number to add a link that gives readers the option to immediately call Laura. I think we can separate it from the background a little bit with a block by selecting the two lines and going to style. Tap block and I don't think we need to worry about the color here. Let's just make this a bit smaller. Making the type style caption, which is in the style panel under more. And finally, make the subheading bold. If you watched the last video, you might know what I'm about to do at this stage. I'm going to select the short intro sentence for Laura, change the type style to heading, and go into highlight some text. On iPad, if you go to the three dot icon in the top right and tap page style, now you can toggle on cover image. Tap photo library and choose your cover image here. Some people don't like to use a photo of themselves in their CV, so you could also place some graphics of your work here if you like. Now, I'm going to make some of the words in the About section for Laura stand out by highlighting some and making them bold. Okay, this is starting to look nice. Just to remind you where we started. Let's add a separator and start working on the Experience section. The first thing I want to do is change the type hierarchy to match what we've already made and also just to switch around the date and location with the company in the job role. To select the first block, tap and hold. Now you can drag it underneath the next block. You can do the same with the other three. Next, I want to change these headings to make them look way clearer. To do this, we can select multiple headings at once by swiping on the first one, and then I can tap on the others. I'll go down to the style menu, tap more, and then strong. Then select the dates in the same way, swiping, and then tapping on the rest. Go to style, more, and caption. That's a huge change. I'm not going to go through the text and highlight certain keywords here because everything important is above. I don't want potential employers to feel like Laura is forcing them to think a certain way. Okay, on to education. Let's drop in another separator. One thing the craft does really well is removing a lot of unwanted space between lines. Let's minimize this so that an employer can scan the page easily. Rather than writing too much about Laura's education, we'll just make the course and school a proper sentence. Now, same as before, let's swap the dates to the bottom and match the text styles by selecting the titles first, style menu, more, strong, and then the other two, and go to caption. I don't actually mind the skills section from the original template too much, so we'll keep that. Just add a separator above and below, and then I'm gonna add a section. Because Laura wants to show her dedication to her job, and the recognition that she's received. 
we're going to add a writing, speaking, interview section at the bottom. Rather than simply adding text here, I'm just going to drop in four links so that readers can easily access the media. I'm going to open the three dot menu in the top right and tap page style. Then I'll toggle on gradient and adjust the start and end color. Perfect. In the last video, we made a beautiful design portfolio in just a few minutes. If you haven't seen that yet, I'd recommend checking it out in the link just here.